You know, you touched on so many points um, that that we, we, we have to dive a little deeper into. Uh, you spoke about the cartels now being in bed with the Chinese. Um, you specifically mentioned the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. We, we know that the Chinese are supplying the cartels with the raw ingredients which are used to make fentanyl. But I also read that the, the Chinese are arming the, the uh, cartels. Do you know that to be any truth there? I have, I have information that they have been arming the, the cartels and that other governments are also arming the cartels. It's only, you know, these guys will go to whoever will sell them the weapons. And the weapons that they're using are not, of course, we know, weapons that you can buy at the neighborhood gun shop. These weapons are very sophisticated military weapons. And yes, yes, there is information that the Chinese Communist Party has provided weapons to the cartels. Why? It's a silent war. We have a war going on right now in this country. Like I said, we have an invasion of our southern borders. What, what else would the Chinese and the Russians have better than to destroy us from within? Fidel Castro said when he was working with our cartels years ago, he said, we're going to destroy the United States and we don't have to fire one round to destroy them. Feed them. They're degenerates, feed them all the drugs. They will implode and destroy themselves. This is what people here got to realize. They are destroying us. We need to stop this. We're not going to have a country left. All these illegals that are coming in, that's, that's going to be, that's going to destabilize this country, Sean. I don't care what they say. We do it because we're human. We're doing it for humanitarian reasons. Go to Mexico, see if they don't deport you. Go to Mexico illegally. My mom was deported from Mexico because she was a U.S. citizen living in Mexico. She was deported back to the United States, Sean. You can go to no country and just go in there and say, oh, I'm going to be here now. Give me a job. Give me a ticket because I want to go to wherever. And, and that's what's going on right now. This is going to cause major destabilization to this country. They're not thinking it through. I mean, what, what are we going to do with all these people? 10 million people supposedly have come in in the last two or three years. What are we doing with these people? Look at look at look at our parks. They're full of homeless now. You can't walk the streets of the inner cities like LA and in San Francisco because there's human secretion on the sidewalks as people use the sidewalk as a toilet. There's needles and everywhere. You got children gotta walk through this stuff in our inner cities. We didn't see that ten years ago, Sean. There was some of it, but not to the extent that we have it right now. We are decaying from within. Yeah, uh, you know, you you mentioned uh, something very interesting. It's a silent war going on. We, we are literally being fed uh, these deadly substances for the U.S. to implode from within. And as we weaken... Our enemies will then pounce on us, whether it be China, whether it be Russia. But the infrastructure of the U.S. is literally decaying by the day. So strategic, so well planned, and unfortunately, it's being executed seamlessly because we see that there are there is a drug problem that is only getting worse. To your point, more people have died in the last few years than several of this country's major wars. You know, it hurts my heart to think where this country is going and how weak we really have become. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.